Hey folks, my name is Kess and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. How are we feeling about this new background here? I think it's pretty cool. Today you're going to learn how to do a highlight effect in After Effects. I grabbed this article from CNN and what we're going to do is highlight these first two lines of the article. We can get started by right clicking in the comp, new, solid, and then we want a nice yellow solid. And if you want to copy this color code, go ahead. Press OK. OK, now that the solid has been created, we're actually going to go ahead and hide that solid. With the solid selected, we're going to go up here and click our pen tool. And then we're going to draw a straight line from here to here. I'm going to make a point here by clicking on the screen. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then make another point here. And the reason we're holding down shift is so that it creates a perfect straight line. Once that is done, we're going to go into our effects and presets and we're going to search for the stroke. Generate stroke. That's perfect. And we're going to drag that onto the yellow solid. Under effect controls, we're going to set the paint style to reveal original image. And then we can go ahead and unhide the layer. What we want to do, we're going to change the brush size so that it is a little bigger and we want it to cover the entire text. I think here is good. In the composition, we're going to right click that yellow solid. We're going to go to blending mode. And you can play around with some of these blending modes, but I really find that multiply is the best option. I'm just going to readjust this point here. I can click it. Hold down shift and just drag it in here. Once you're happy with how that looks, let's go ahead and animate that sucker. With the yellow solid selected, we are going to move the playhead to about one second. We're going to change the end keyframe to zero. Make a keyframe. We're going to hit U on our keyboard to view the keyframe. And that's the secret to viewing any animated keyframes that you have created on a layer. We're going to move that playhead across to about 115. And then we're going to make another keyframe at 100. Now let's take a look. Since we've already done all that work on that one layer, let's go ahead and duplicate it. So we can do that by highlighting the yellow solid, hitting Command C and Command V on my keyboard to duplicate it. Click that second layer, hit P on your keyboard and change the positioning so it goes down a notch here. We can open up those keyframes by hitting U. And let's just go to that last end keyframe here. Um, I want it to end at fresh. I don't want it to go further than that. So I'm going to adjust that end keyframe so it just ends right here. Perfect. We can go ahead and stagger it have it start when that first one ends. And I would recommend just highlighting these keyframes, right clicking, and then beside keyframe assistant, hit easy ease. And that will just smooth out the animation keyframes a little bit. Okay, let's hit play. That's pretty much it folks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you next time.